Charlemagne say the gang dunk it other day. Charlemagne? You are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the Donkey of the Day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, man, <laughs> hit me with the heat. Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Well, Donkey of the Day for Monday, December 5th goes to the Department of Work and Pensions. Okay, I think this is in the UK for cutting a 60 year old man's benefits because he didn't respond to a letter they sent him. Listen to me, I know you're out there saying, I know you're out there saying, Charlemagne, people's benefits get cut every day for not replying to those letters, but let me explain the story. See, Alan Moody, 60 years old, was declared unfit to work, okay, 10 years ago after being diagnosed with something I can't even pronounce cerebellar ataxia. What? I have no idea what that is. Can't even pronounce Very it. I'll good. spell it for you. Like a cerebellar? Cerebellar. C-E-R-E-B-E-L-L-A-R. That's something to do with the brain. And ataxia. Don't know what that is. Probably pronouncing it wrong. A-T-A-X-I-A. It's a rare genetic brain condition. Okay? Now, despite of this, Alan Moody was summoned to a department for work and pensions, work capability assessment, the qualify to receive employment and support allowance. Basically, they called him in to see if they should really still be paying him. Well, Alan Moody didn't reply. And as a result of his non-reply, the DWP took the decision, and on November 2nd, they stopped paying him his allowance. They stopped paying him his money. Now, I, I can understand if Alan Moody just shrugged off the letter or was just being irresponsible and, igno and ignoring it, but the reason Alan Moody didn't reply to the letter is because Alan Moody is blind, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, damn. Like, legally blind. Can't see anything. One of the effects of the genetic brain condition that I can't, that I can't pronounce is blindness. I cannot see. I'm legally blind. That's my story. Now, Alan's brother, Terry, who is also Alan's carer, said that he pleaded an appeal to the DWP to review their decision, and the DWP stood by it. You cold, heartless individuals. Alan's brother, Terry, said, I cannot believe they've done this. How could they be so heartless? He has been disabled for 10 years. He cannot work. He needs this money. The DWP replied, it's important people contact us immediately if they can't attend their assessment, work, ca work capability assessments. Uh, they help ensure that people get the right level of support that they need rather than just writing them off on sickness benefits as happened in the past. The decision on whether someone is well enough to work is taken following a thorough independent assessment and after consideration of all the supporting evidence from the claimant's GP or medical specialist. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, Department for Work and Pensions, he's blind. Okay, <laughs> give this man, Alan Moody, back his money, period. Department of Work and Pensions, you said you need evidence. How much more evidence do you need other than he's blind? I couldn't read the paperwork. I don't understand people in these positions who lack sympathy or empathy for a person's condition. Please give the Department of Work and Pensions the biggest hee-haw, please. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, the man is blind. Right. Like, legally blind. He didn't just make this up, okay? <laughs> like, he's been blind. That's one of the effects of the condition that y'all are paying him for. The Breakfast Club.